so far we have aspects we have small shreds of the mighty dragon goddess of the moon selene and what exactly her scheme is so far we know that she you know tricked the white witch for reasons unknown to waken up alderaan the only thing we can really kind of go off of is that she wants to bring the world to ruin in order to hype up the moon to you know draw more attention to the beauty of the moon something that i really like it's similar to how the white witch has some contrasting like mirrored aspects you know, like to Zerif. Selene has some that could be compared to Acnologia, and one that I think is really cool is the fact that like Acnologia, you know, first he, he was kind of like ending the world for like the, the better of it. He wanted to take out all the dragons and then take out the humans in the process and kind of that path of, of trying to do something he saw was good led to him kind of becoming that destroyer that he was against. But with Selene, she wants to bring the world to ruin rather for this like beauty of the moon. And I, I'm wondering if there's anything further to it. Like, maybe she's going to have some, like, uh, maybe some, like, very large ideologies or something that could kind of, like, relate the moon to why this is going on. And it it opens up some questions that could be related to stuff that happened earlier in the series. Because one thing that 100 Years Quest has done really well is it has made callbacks to earlier points within, the, you know, the, the entirety of the Fairy Tale series. And... One thing that we have seen so far with uh, the Dragon Gods we've is we saw Mersphobia and who had the, uh, you know, he had his own religious following within his, like, in his city. And Alderaan, he had his own religious following in his. And with, uh, with the rest of it, assume, oh, well, they're probably going to have their own, like, uh, their own kind of cults, their own religious following. Which makes sense because they got their title of God, as Dragon Gods, uh, from people seeing them as you know, deity-like beings and worshiping them, so assume they're all gonna have some form of following. But with Selene, there's actually a way that hers can uh, really tie back to some other stuff that will end up kind of enhancing, uh, I would say, some of the world of the story. And that being, if you remember back in the Galuna Island with Moondrip, because we found out, you know, that the, the moon itself has magic, the moon itself uh, also is like dispelling magic properties. And the way that they were able to do this to conjure the ritual for Moondrip was this like language like what was it the Bellionese, and you had these guys in these like cultist robes with crescent moons on them. Potentially, potentially that could be something relating to Selene, somebody who obviously we know is going to know about the moon as a moon dragon, and could possibly relate to a character we've already seen through like within the series. I remember Animus from the Dragon Cry movie, which is canon. It has a similar nature than how moon dragon magic was described of absorbing like the sun, moon, and starlight. And that's pretty much how Anus worked because he was covered in Stellanium, which that's exactly how Stellanium worked. It absorbed sun, moon, and starlight, absorbed it into these crystals, and then harnessed it as, as energy. So that could be something maybe to relate. Maybe we find out something more uh, in relation to Animus. And open up the world a little bit more maybe that Celine knew about him maybe she was just like oh yeah you know he, he left as soon as like Acnologia was doing stuff they got too cocky maybe she uh, maybe at one point Animus was above her and then during those 400 years she became far more powerful there there's definitely some questions that we can look into but I'm, I'm hoping within the next couple chapters maybe we get some more hinting because there's a lot going on in 100 years quest like it when it first was announced, I wasn't sure how long it was, but we have a lot of stuff. We got the White Witch still. We don't know what exactly her overall scheme is. We don't know how she got in contact with Selene. We don't know, like, their relationship. Um, Diablos is still up in the air. I think they're going to become uh, allies, but who knows? Elisaria is still suspicious. Every single one of the Dragon Gods except for uh, Mersphobia is, uh, you know, still out there. And then, you know, you get characters that we haven't run into, but still exist at some point in time as Ankh-Saram. There's, there's some stuff coming up. But other than that, I just wanted to like lay out some uh, some of the notes, like the whole belly and knees. Like, are, are we going to get anything calling back to Selene? Like, yeah, there, there was one point in the chapter, in the chapter 50, that I think will have some credit to that. Is if you remember, like, the, the White Witch's magic that she had in all the fairy tale members, all just, it went away. It just stopped. And how would that happen? She, it's not like anybody, you know, um, it's not like any of the characters did anything to affect anybody else. There was no, like, shown spell that would do it. We don't, there was nothing like the, the White Witch lost control for some reason, because she seemed pretty astonished by it as well. What do we do know? 
Selene is clearly like aware of what's going on over there and Selene is a moon dragon as we know from the moon it has dispelling properties maybe she dispelled it does she know what's going on is she going to like communicate with Alderaan and then like harness this idea of it kind of like trying to push him into uh helping her with her schemes like bring the world to ruin for that other than that uh comment below tell me your thoughts are about this whole chapter tell me your thoughts about what's going on and and how you see like this uh this whole like next big chapter coming up we got a week we got a little, little like under a week i think what like uh six and some change of days into the next chapter it'll be a bit of a wait but it's gonna be worth it we're gonna get a lot of craziness with the next few and I, i'm really looking forward to it i mean no we got like the 10 chapters like you know normal weeks not bi-weekly around like a little bit after the start of the start which is was nice but man I, I wish it was right now or we're hitting all this craziness but i am fine with the the wait because uh I, it gives them time to kind of get stuff set up get all things a lot more consistent a lot more laid out and a lot more uh a lot more meat to these chapters because we even like this last chapter there was a lot of questions like raised about, especially about like Celine and the white witch but other than that Comment below, tell me your thoughts are about this chapter, like I said, and like this theory coming up that I've got. And I just, I, I'm really hoping it relates back to the Belly and just because it'd be really cool to like find out maybe Galuna Island was somehow related to Selene and some religious faction of something, those guys that were doing the moon drip. As well as like, she has a very Japanese theme to her as we saw with her clothing and her like, uh, her house. And there's not a lot of, of Japanese characters within like the fairy tale. Like a lot of the more Asian themes are set to like a, a handful of people but one group we do know well one person we do know that was very much like that you remember ikaruga with the moon related naming techniques maybe she uh somehow came from this uh from from whatever village or town or city that uh worshipped selene at some point or just like her religious her religious like culture would uh kind of spread out and eventually kind of like touch to wherever she was who knows but other than that Comment below, tell me your thoughts are about this, and I really appreciate thumbs up the video. But for the like button, subscribe button, and check out my other videos. But that appreciate sure you already subscribed, and I thank you all for listening. Bye.